my god, since no one else is talking about this, you know what, I'm gonna have to, I guess, even though I don't want to. But fundamentally, housing is not in a healthy state at all right now, and people are misinterpreting things left, right, and center, and I guess I need to talk about it. And to be frank, the new housing ward doesn't make sense to me at all, given what players want. Fundamentally, this is the housing ward itself is missing the point. The creators that are speculating on the market that have been in established free companies are like willfully or not misrepresenting what people want. People are talking a lot about things that are genuine problems, such as, and I'm not going to name or shame or bring up them, but you know what? If you've been on Gilgamesh, you know that ward that was bought up by all those people. Yeah, that is total BS. There's been evidence online about someone literally running a bunch of alts and just having a bunch of like free companies under that just buy up a bunch of houses. It's a mess. And so <laughs> I'm actually not going to get into this, this video. I want to say it's a mess, so let's talk about it, but that'll be for another video because that crap goes deep. Like, I'm not saying that those aren't problems because those are absolutely huge problems. I think that one of the solutions to that might be like even just taking half of the houses and dispersing them because to be honest, I don't see why one person needs literally 30 plots unless someone can divine and tell me why someone needs 30 plots. And the wise words that are said very, very often is everyone is a size queen <laughs> and that no one likes them small. Nobody wants a small house in Final Fantasy XIV. Absolutely no one wants those small houses. Those are the consolation prize. Those are the like, oh my God, I went to a hockey game and my seat is behind the freaking gray pillar that's holding up the roof. What have I done? Those are the seats you don't want at the hockey game. So. When you have a period of time that you can cast one single entry, of course you are going to end up with wards with a billion unwanted smalls. That's That should be the least shocking thing you have ever seen in your life if you've played this game for any period of time. Nobody wants those plots. Another analogy, because I know that a lot of people aren't from Canada, so the hockey thing's probably just like, whoosh, what? But it's like then showing up to like a hundred person buffet and then being alarmed that having three pizzas, because three largest, haha, cha -ching, get get that reference, three largest per board, three pizzas. Okay, moving on. But you have these three pizzas in a sea of spinach and cabbages and other gross shit. And then you are shocked that the three pizzas are what everyone goes for. And mind you, I've seen Black Friday sale videos and... Yeah. Just running around Gilgamesh, there were many plots that I saw at the last minute that hit like 20 people per single house. Some of those will be people from the same free company that were trying to stack up and get that house. I get it. But then I would go to other wards and there would be like 10 here, 15 there. There was a bunch actually that hit like 25 at the last minute. Like, it, it, well, maybe not a bunch, but at least a few. That is like 25 different entries with 50 million gil. Remember, this is all gated behind 50 million gil and RMT is obviously against the rules and so to most players, 50 million gil is a very large sum. To someone who actually makes like a ton of gil, aka not me, um, that that would be maybe someone like Fur Daddy, but like not me, <laughs> I suck at it, but like to the average player, 50 million is huge! That's a huge sum to get and so people are like, well I can't get 50, I, I can get 3 million gil. Remember, a lot of these people are casual, and so they can't be undercutting the market board all the time. But, like, these larges around Gilgamesh, and that's all I can speak towards because I, I didn't have the time to, like, or interest to visit all these different worlds. It's pretty clear that there was a demand, a huge demand, but for not, for smalls. To be clear, I have no horse in this race, though, because I know people are going to come for me saying that. Guys, I, I have no horse in this race. I am extremely happy with my large plots <laughs> but fundamentally this is a concern for many people that i talk to there are at least 30 yeah let's go under like the floor the li like bottom limit is 30 at least that i've talked to of free companies that want any kind of large they don't want mediums either because they're just like why would i want a medium and they definitely don't want smalls they're just like why even bother but these are people who came from the wow exodus to final fantasy 14 who are still looking for a free company house. 
I know that I'm not the only one on Gilgamesh that hears these people talk all the time. Like, they are here, they are present, and they've been patient. But the problem is that voices speaking up for them are saying, oh, blah, 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 of course free companies couldn't use all of this space, you idiots. Of course they couldn't. Make all of the plots larges, though, and I can guarantee you that you'd see them gone extremely quickly. Maybe not every single one. I do think that maybe we could use, like, five less wards for free companies alone, but you would see those larges just snatched up left, right, and center. And remember, that's a 50 million gil entry fee, which is, again, very prohibitive. I guarantee you if it was, like, zero gil or one gil to get a house, you would literally lose all of those larges within one lottery cycle. Guaranteed. Here is where I really need to start asking questions, is why are we designing a ward where the majority of houses are, respectfully, trash that no one wants? And you know that's a piece in love, I mean, if that is all you can get, like, or you're happy with it, don't let my opinion sway you. They're, but generally from who I speak to, that's what they regard it as. Like, seriously, who wants to run up to a small house in the middle of a Canadian blizzard where I get pangs of seasonal affective disorder just loading into the ward and they go, huzzah, I want this. And I am in Canada, born and raised, and we just got a blizzard and a blanket of heavy, awful snow literally a few days ago, and I needed to shovel that. I am somewhat of an expert on the subject, and yes, my back still hurts because that snow was extremely heavy. Like, compare these smalls here to these larges in this super crazy foreign land to us North Americans, and then to this other one in this sort of kind of Hawaii-like land, and then this, like, flooded forest thing. Like, dare to dream, people! <laughs> and then you, as a person with agency, dreams, and the rest want this? This is all you want? I'm not trying to question it, but what I'm trying to get at is almost like 95% of people that I talk to have expressed this opinion clearly to me. Like, 95% of the people that I talk to want a large of their own. If they had the ability to get one without problems, that means no guild, that means available, they'd get it. So I see people talk about things like, oh, this shouldn't all be FC housing, and that's totally missing the mark. I guarantee you that if every single one of these larges was plots in Ishgard was largest, the massive incredible majority of them would be gone. Let alone the fact that it is in a setting that is very gray and very saddening. That is definitely my opinion. A lot of people will disagree. I mean, some people came to me saying, oh, it's Hogwarts to me. I don't get Hogwarts, I get damn. I step outside my door and I get this. Please, no more. <laughs> I re realize it's gonna be abrupt, but I do need to say this pretty clearly, is the most beefy, chonky, thick disclaimer in the world saying, I love our devs, I love Yoshi P, I love the work they do, and it's incredibly appreciated. I don't want that to somehow be twisted here or whatever manipulative weird stuff goes on. For the love of God, I made a damn channel on this game for fun, just because I love it and the devs so much, so I don't want people to twist it. Like, please don't twist it. Like. I love them. But one thing I've sat on for a long while now, even when like we had like the feats going on and the whole Ishgard restoration, was how it, when we start to see, oh, these are small plots. To me, it was just kind of insane, the entire concept of this new housing ward. Yes, okay, excitement and hype, let's throw our hands up into the air and lose our mean minds. Yeehaw, we have a new housing ward. Hallelujah. But do I think it's great to have that new ward? Obviously it is. More is more in this case. Sometimes more is literally more. Don't let the fashion people tell you otherwise. More is more in this case. The problem is this ward, this design isn't it. This entire design just isn't what fits with what 14 players want. Of course, this is personal preference and stylism, but I go from Ishgard, which is like, and then to my house in the Goblet, which is apparently a trash district, and my eyes are suddenly blown away with the colors of vibrancy. It's like someone removed the grayscale on a video footage, honestly. To mention the view. Meanwhile, the best view in Ishgard for larges is plot 30, which has this obtuse turtle roof right in the way of the mountains, which, yeah, that's the one thing about Ishgard that to totally does have me soul. So I'm a huge Heavensward's fan, like, you guys, you guys have no idea. I'm the biggest Heavensward fan. I fell in love with this game so much when that expansion launched. Other than Pepsi Man, who broke my first static ever. Screw Pepsi Man. The main point here is why did we make a brand new ward, completely brand new ward, after we have had years of people screaming at the top of their lungs for larges. Not these small plots, what are these doing here? Time has proven anything is that smalls are really like... Small, they're, they're not wanting, they're not satisfying people. But the thing is, it's not just cosmetic, it's yard size, it's yard decorations you can have, it's indoor size, it is indoor decorations that you can have. It's literally having a basement, middle floor, and upper floor, like, 
it's not just a little thing. This is a huge thing. And so I think that maybe like a redesign would have been like super good. Anyhow, that's just my thoughts. And oh, I just need to get this out there. Sorry, guys.